hi guys welcome back to another video on black hat go tutorial series and in today's video we're gonna make our very own a packet snipper in golang so this is going to be a very simple packet snipper so what we are going to do we are going to uh, go listen on a specific network interface and capture all the um, packets coming to that interface and display it to the console we can also redirect it to a file but for now we are simply going to display it on the terminal and uh, apart from that we'll be applying something called bfp which is which stands for berkeley packet filter so it will help us in uh, in filtering the uh, packets for coming through that interface so with that we'll be uh, able to capture only interested i mean the, pa the pa packets in which we are interested in and ignore the rest all so without any further ado, let's begin. So as you can see in this main block, I have defined all the steps which we are going to implement in this function. So, so let's go step by step and we'll see how this works. So if you see the first step, it says find all the network interfaces for cap, uh, a packet capturing using uh, a pcap find all devs. So there's a, um, a, a very good uh, a package in Golang. Uh, from google so, which is called go packet so we are going to use that and uh, from that uh, go packet package will be using something called pcap so pcap is a sub package inside the go packet and uh, from that we'll be able to find all the network interfaces in our system so let's begin so i've already installed go packet if you see uh, If you don't have the go packet installed, what you're gonna do? Um, you're gonna just go to your uh, terminal and type this github.com slash google slash go packet. And once you do that, you are ready to go. And in case you get any uh, error like a file not found or something like a lip pcap file not found, let me show you if I have it here. So this is just a, a test run which I was doing for this video. If you see here, if you get an uh, some error like this, so I'll installing the pcap bit. So if you are on the Linux terminal, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna first install this. So it is a, a kind of library used by this go packet package. So you need to get this first before installing this go packet, and then you are ready to go. So once you do that you come to your main file and implement the steps one by one so let's go ahead and implement the first step so what i'm going to do i'm going to say devices error no uh, equal to uh, i'm gonna say pcap so it should uh, automatically import this as soon as i start using it pcap dot find all devs so now i have all the devices uh, here so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to check if error not equal to nil, then I'm simply going to log dot uh, of a panic and say uh, unable to fetch a network devices or interfaces and we'll simply exit the program. But in case we find some devices, we are going to, you know, uh, loop over the devices uh, slice and select our, uh, select our desired device where we want to uh, capture the packets. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a for loop and say if, if stand for interface device, um, colon equals to range devices. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the name of each of the devices found. And for that what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if dev dot name equal to equal to. So outside this main function, I'm going to define for, for simplicity, I'm going to define it outside this main function. I'm going to say dev name let's make it capital dev name equal to w 
L S P S three zero. If I'm not wrong. So this is my wireless interface device name. So I'm going to check if I find this device. So then I'm going to mark a boolean called. Uh, um, let's say find a uh, found equal to true. So let me first define this boolean outside. Found equal false. So here, as soon as I find that device, I'm gonna say found equal to true. And in the second step, what I'm going to check if the device uh, if my found if not found then it means uh, the device which i am looking for is not in the uh, uh, find all devs list so what i'm going to simply do log dot panic and say a desired device not found and exit out of the program so once for the system uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to move to the uh, third step here if you read open live live capture handle on that network interface using pcap dot open live so now what we are going to do we are going to use this function pcap open live and open a, a capture handle so handle will be using uh, later in the fourth and fifth step but uh, for, for now what i'm going to do i'm going to simply create an object called handle uh, out of this pcap dot open live function and uh, this pcap open live function is going to take few uh, parameters which I'm going to discuss. So let's say handle error no uh, colon equal to then I'm going to say pcap uh, pcap dot open open live and here if you see it, it takes four parameters. The first is a device name. So for device name I already defined outside. I'll say like this device name and then the length of the uh, capture which is going to be so for this I'm going to use the standard length the value which is 1600 then what I'm going to do promise kiss so this is like I uh, want the uh, capturing mode to be a promiscuous or not for simplicity I'm going to say false and the time duration for this uh, duration field, I'm going to say um, I'm going to use a predefined uh, value. So I'm going to say pcap dot block for forever. So it's going to listen on this uh, interface infinitely. So now once our handle is created, so I'm going to check if so sorry if error not equal to nil then simply again log dot panic mm. first i'm going to say fmt dot print and inside print i'm going to pass error and here i'm going to say uh, unable to open um, handle on the device so third step is also done now let's move to the fourth step uh, uh, one more thing after this I'm going to say something or we, we need to close this and also what I'm going to do I'm going to defer this thing here I'm going to say for defer handle dot close okay so now uh, we have opened our handle now we want to apply the F filter so for the filter uh, what I'm going to say same thing so handle dot uh, apply not apply set bpf filter and here i'm going to pass some string so for now i can say tcp and port is going to be 443 so which means uh, https traffic and once that is done i'm going to put it inside if block i like this so this statement alone is going to initialize error and also check in the same statement well then i'm going to say log dot panic and uh, log dot panic and inside this i'm simply going to print the error if we get any so this is also done so now what we want we want to uh, display our uh, filtered 
packets received on some channel uh, returned from this function go packet new packet source so now we are going to tell our go packet uh, package to listen on the source so for, for that what we'll do we'll simply create a source object here and we'll say go packet dot uh, new packet source new packet and inside this we are going to pass our packet source which is going to be our handle and the second argument is going to be the decoder so for that we'll say handle dot link type so now we have created our source and uh, this um, source dot packets uh, uh, function is going to uh, return a, a, a channel and we are and we can iterate over that channel for all the incoming packets so what i'll say packets uh, equal to range source dot packets so this function is going to return a ch channel here if you see and now i will simply um, going to just simply print it to do print print ln and then i'll say packet okay so this is going to run indefinitely and will display all the packets so let's go to each one of the steps one by one so in the first step i'm uh, i'm um, listing all the devices interface devices and i'm m marking the what desired in, uh, interface if it is found and i'm saying found equal to true if my interface is found here and then uh, uh, i'm checking here if my device is found uh, i'll continue if not found i'll just simply exit the program with this error desired defined not found and in the third step i'm opening a live capture uh, handle uh, with this uh, following parameters and if there is a error again i'm exiting and displaying this error message on the fourth time i'm applying this uh, bpf filter and just simply printing the error if any and in the final step i'm using the most important function go packet dot new packet source i'm uh, passing the handle who created in the previous step and then i'm uh, iterating over the source packets uh, channel and then go displaying them so that's all so as you can see in just over 50 lines we have created our packet sniffer actually less than 50 lines if you uh, ignore the um, this uh, comments here so uh, so now let's go to the terminal and uh, build this so why i'm building this because uh, you are going to need a pseudo privileges to run this because uh, it needs a, a pseudo for permission to capture pay packets so you can't simply run this uh, using uh, a sudo go run main.go if your uh, go is not installed in the root uh, i mean as a root user so i'll first build it then i do ls and i'm simply going to do this sudo and run this uh, binary here so as soon as i run this binary it is start going it it, it, it will start capturing packets on the uh, tcp port 443 uh, on the design on the given uh, network interface and then would we'll display it on the terminal but first we'll let me check the interface name wlp3 s0 wlp3 s0 so i'm going to build it again now i'm going to run this so now it has started see here so we are getting some packets here on the terminal and if you want you can uh, extend this uh, program to read from pcap file and also write to pcap files and that i leave it to you as an exercise just go to google and uh, search for go packet and uh, you will find all the information there either you can go here or this official uh, or, or documentation here Here you'll find all the information how to use this op app package and also same thing on the github page you can find as well with some examples 
so go ahead and have fun